you know, when there's like two, two females, like on a 50 bill lineup or something, it's just kind of crazy to me. But it's hard to now because of the way, you know, the big booking agencies work. It's like they get their main artists and then they get all their supporting acts. Right. Um, Which I understand, like this is his business. So, and to make a sort of statement, you know, which is hard because it's fun to play those festivals. Right. Just not at uh, eleven, not at eleven a.m. on opening day. It's kind of, it's kind of like okay. I and it, it. It can't, it's not because I'm a girl. It's because it's eleven a.m. on the third day or whatever. Like no yeah. one's gonna, no matter who you are. Right. Really. Right. You take an artist that you know is kind of newer, you know, and uh, you, you know you're playing like before them on a festival. You probably don't want to do that anymore. Is probably oh, what you're right. trying to get at, you know. Yeah. No. T- totally. I mean, we we are at a weird point in my career like you're exactly right because i have to be careful what i take for image purposes or and and yeah for what's good for my soul and what's not so what we did actually last year was we raised my prices significantly yeah and it was like hey it's nothing against you it's nothing against your venue it's nothing against your festival i'm just not doing things unless they're this much it's not it's yeah. nothing against you this is just what we're doing now right and that was really fun so like right now with the new record coming out we're we're doing more door deals and stuff that we right haven't in a long time yeah. which is always scary and humbling but you know we're really trying because i'm trying to be the girl that like can sell tickets right but i can't everywhere yeah and so well, we you know what they figure- say you know what they say females don't sell tickets that's in the in the not the yeah in the <laughs> Nothing to do with all the guys that are playing the same bars that I am, that right. I'm selling more than yeah. them, right? Yeah. yeah. Has nothing. How about when they? How about when that guy sold less tickets than me last week? Is it because he was a dude? I sell a female fronted act on a weekly basis, so I right. know I know the struggles of it. You know, but we played. Um, you know, this is three, three, four years ago. We used to play in uh, San Antonio. We kind of had like a a Monday slot that we would do once a month. We were like touring down there and, uh, and we're like, you know, finally starting to build a fan base down there after about four or five months. And they were like, uh, they were like, Hey, um, you know, we'd love to get you guys in here on a different night. And autumn goes, yeah, man, let's do like a Friday or Saturday. And then like the TV was like, he's like, yeah, we don't really book females like on the weekends or whatever. And, and, and he's like, she's like, why not? And he's like, yeah, they don't usually like draw. And, and she's like, she said the same thing she, that you said, you know, like if, well, if you have like a guy in here and nobody, nobody draws are you just like not gonna have any other males in here or like the gender issue when that's not you know what i mean like right. it, and then it ruins it for all the other girls trying i love that we're talking about it because well paul and i've been together almost three years but he's been in the scene for 15 years or 20 yeah. you know he's been and he until you're really entrenched in it like you guys are he's like i had no idea it was like right. this my band they see it every single weekend and they're like, this is, you know, right. It's a real thing. And it's not like, I, I'm not sitting at my house. Like, mm, no, I want to book a female. It's like, no, I'm, right. I'm out. There. Y'all are out there. Like we're like actually right. trying. I have an amazing team behind me. Like, yeah. like really one of the best. And so if it's still not working, it's, it's a larger issue and we're trying to change it. But like, yeah, it is. It is heart wrenching. Like I get that crying in the van. Like I'll get mm-hmm. after. One of my favorite, well, I don't know, favorite. My least favorite things that I hear people saying is like, is like, you know, we'll play at a festival or something. And then all the other bands that are out there behind the, you know, backstage or you know whatever, they're like, man, I wasn't expecting that. Or like, you're really good for a girl. The burden on your band and my band to change the conversation, like it's a giant i feel like the giant responsibility and so like my band has to be good i have to play guitar and write great songs better than a boy can songs have to be better the production has to be better like you almost have to out the encouraging part of it is like it's changing at the award shows there's so many young girls that are like i look right. up to you I look up to you and I'm, i used to be the only girl there you know what i mean yeah like Franken twins back in the day there was there's just always been only a few of us and now there's so many more of us so it's definitely changing it's just yeah. a slow change a lot of people listen to this podcast that 
are up and coming musicians or they're people trying to figure out how to um, take their hobby, quote unquote, or, you know, what they do on the weekends, uh, their side hustle, whatever you want to call it, into turning it into their job. Um, what is some advice that you have for people that are trying to just take their career to the next level? Yeah, well, don't do it. Keep your day job. This is the worst business. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 